Do you think in your lifetime we will build an AGI system that would undeniably be a thing that achieves human level intelligence and goes far beyond? I definitely think it's possible um, that it will go far beyond, but I'm definitely convinced that it will be human level intelligence. Um, and I'm I'm hypothesizing about the beyond because the beyond bit is a bit tricky to define, especially when we look at the current formula of starting from this imitation learning standpoint, right? So we can certainly imitate humans um, at language and beyond. So getting at human level through imitation feels very possible. Going beyond um, will require reinforcement learning and other things. And I think in some areas that certainly already has paid out. I mean, Go being an example that's my favorite so far in terms of going beyond human capabilities. But in general, I'm not sure we can define reward functions that from a seat of imitating human level intelligence that is general and then going beyond. Um, that that bit is not so clear in my lifetime, but certainly um, human level, yes. And I mean, that in itself is already quite powerful, I think. So um, going beyond, I think is obviously not, we're not gonna not try that if, if, if it, then we get to superhuman scientists and discovery and advancing the world. But, um, but at least human level is also, in, in general, is also very, very powerful. Well, especially if human level or, or slightly beyond is integrated deeply with human society and there's billions of agents like that, uh, do you think there's a singularity moment beyond which our world will be just very deeply transformed by these kinds of systems? Because now you're talking about intelligent systems that are just, I mean, this is no longer just a going from horse and buggy to, to the car. It feels like a, a very different kind of shift in what it means to be a living entity on Earth. Are you afraid or are you excited of this world? I'm I'm afraid if there's a lot more. Um, so I think maybe we'll need to think about um, if we truly get there, just thinking of limited resources like you know, humanity clearly hits some limits and then there's some balance, hopefully, that biologically um, the planet is imposing and we, we should actually try to get better at this. As we know, there's there's quite a few, you know, issues with having too many people um, coexisting in a resource-limited way. So for digital entities, it's an interesting question. I think such a limit maybe should exist, um, but maybe it's going to be imposed by energy uh, availability because this also consumes energy. In fact, most systems are more inefficient than we are in terms of energy required. Currently, um, yeah. But definitely, I think as a society, we'll need to just work together to find what would be reasonable in terms of growth or how we coexist if that is um, to, to happen. Um, I am very excited about, obviously, the aspects of automation that make people that obviously don't have access to certain resources or knowledge um, for them to have those that access. I think those are the applications in a way that I'm most exciting to see um, and to personally work towards. Yeah, there's going to be significant improvements in productivity and the quality of life yeah. across the whole population, which is very interesting. But I'm looking even far beyond uh, us becoming a multi-planetary species. And uh, just as a quick bet, last question, do you think as humans become multiplanetary species, go outside our solar system, all that kind of stuff. Do you think there will be more humans or more robots in that future world? So will humans be the quirky, uh, intelligent being of the past? Or is there something deeply fundamental to human intelligence that's truly special, where we, we will be part of those other planets, not just AI systems? I think we'll we're all excited to build AGI to empower or make us more powerful as human species. Not to say there might be some hybridization. I mean, this is obviously speculation, but there are companies also trying to um the same way medicine is is making us better. Um, maybe there are other other things that are yet to happen on that. But 
if the ratio is not at most one to one, I would not be happy. So I would hope that we are part of the equation, um, but maybe there's maybe a one to one ratio feels like possible, um, constructive, and so on. But it would not be good to have a misbalance, at least from my core beliefs and the why I'm doing what I'm doing uh, when I go to work and I research what I research. Well, this is how I know you're human, and this is how you've passed the Turing test. And uh, you are one of the special humans, Oriel. It's a huge honor that you would talk with me, and I hope we get the chance to speak again, maybe once before the singularity, once after, and see how our view of the world changes. Thank you again for talking today. Thank you for the amazing work you do. You're a shining example of a researcher and a human being in this community. Thanks Thank a lot, Lex. Yeah, looking forward to before the singularity, certainly. <laughs> and maybe after. Yes, definitely as well.